Welcome back, my dear friend. Hope you are doing great. Let's continue our journey along with our animal friends. Don't forget to share this video with friends. The Jabiru is a large stork found in the Americas from Mexico to Argentina, except west of the Andes. It sometimes wanders into the United States, usually in Texas, but has been reported as far north as Mississippi. It is most common in the Pantanal region of Brazil and the eastern Chaco region of Paraguay. It is the only member of the genus Jabiru. The name comes from a Tupi Guarani language and means swollen neck. The Jabiru is the tallest flying bird found in South America and Central America, often standing nearly the same height as the flightless and thus much heavier American rear. For the continent, it also has the second largest wingspan, after the Andean condor. Sexual dimorphism is high, possibly the highest of any stork, with males being about 25% larger than females. The beak is black and broad, slightly upturned, ending in a sharp point. The plumage is mostly white, but the head and upper neck are featherless and black, with a featherless red stretchable pouch at the base. The sexes are similar in appearance but the male is larger, which can be noticeable when the sexes are together. While it can give the impression of being an ungainly bird on the ground, the Jabiru is a powerful and graceful flyer. The Jabiru lives in large groups near rivers and ponds, and eats prodigious quantities of fish, mollusks, and amphibians. The nest of sticks is built by both parents around August to September on tall trees, and enlarged at each succeeding season growing to several meters in diameter. The parents take turns incubating the clutch of two to five white eggs and are known to more territorial than usual against other jabiris during the brooding period. Raccoons and other storks are occasion predators of jabiru eggs, but most nest predators appear to avoid these huge billed birds and there are no known predators of healthy adult jabiris. Although the young fledge around 110 days old, they often spend around another three months in the care of their parents. The lifespan average is 36 years. Big thanks for spending time with me, and we will catch up soon. Till then, adios.